Hey everybody, and welcome back to Campbell Kingdom, and welcome, unfortunately, to the last episode of Campbell Kingdom and the Arabian area. <laughs> um, today, yeah, you heard it already, I got a bow again with me, and yeah, bow. hey. Hello! I'm back. <laughs> She's back. I sound um, a bit uh, sick still, because this is my, my week where I was like, <laughs> coughing and dying, but... I'm okay. Well, you sound way better already. Like I hope Wednesday so. was a lot worse. <laughs> yes, I know. On the live stream, it was terrible, yeah. but I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't let my favorite camel down. So I'm here. <sighs> I'm, I'm feeling so feeling emotional. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I would, honestly, I also, you know, somehow I love the voice if it's so cranked up a little bit. <laughs> it's not so funny. Thanks. It's a little bit like dark. And <laughs> yeah, it's very husky. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's for autumn again. So if we have this in autumn again, you can make some creepy voices. Ooh, yes, I will. Yeah. Anyways, we are back in uh, what we've started to say it in Star Wars mode. Uh, so now we now finish what we've started. Uh, this is basically uh, the rest, like the last episode, doing the detailing wow. on the Arabian area where you have been in, I guess it was November or something. Yes. Uh, where we made the first episode with the uh, station building and, you know, that's the end of it already. There's been plenty of stuff going on in the meantime and, yeah, everything we do in this little episode today, <gasps> including a nice uh, real-time overview later on, mm -hmm. um, is uh, basically just final detailing How like cool. everything is in this souvenir shop is in as you can see here on the right hand side this is a little souvenir shop uh, shop where you can get some right photos and uh, we have this noria thing on the left hand wow. side now where you know the, the water supply is going on for the arabian area uh, also it's kind of the uh, building for the lift hill to make it not that ugly yeah yeah no yeah, it's, it, yeah. i mean from what i can see so far it looks absolutely stunning i've seen some of the episodes and uh, it's it's come a very long way from the first one that we did. Uh, it's so cool. I'm I feel really proud that I'm in the last one now as well. So thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a cool thing to do because the first episode where you have been on was very well appreciated. Of People course. loved it. Hi but everyone that is watching. <laughs> Keep watching Rudy. Rudy's awesome, as you can see. Yeah, and this is really cool. Like I, I love the theme that you've created. Again, it's one of those things where. I probably said this in the first episode as well, but um, it's one of those things where it's not technically a theme within Planet Coaster, but just the way that you use items and things in the game and make them look like something completely different. I, I love that. I absolutely love that. And I see, I, I was actually wondering, is the um, the adventure pack, did that come in handy at all? Um, or not really? Yeah. <laughs> now we have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> this. <laughs> I was like, okay, when the adventure pack came out, I just dropped it in and I was like, okay, gosh, I could save now like 80% of all the ponies oh. that I slept in with all the window bags yeah. and stuff because there were like the adventure wall yeah. pieces. Like those are the best additions ever because like you can make them adventure but you can also make them like Arabian. Yes. But it's, it's also pretty nice concrete, uh, mm. just, you know, down to the color choice you take because you added those two different colors. So if you take the same, you have a very plain and very slick wall piece, what you can like use in a genuine theme like everywhere. Mm. But if you just mix up colors a little bit, it gets this nice little structure on it, which usually, and that was basically the reason why everybody was using the back of the windows, because they had this very nice texture where there is a little bit of structure in, right? You have this little rough concrete texture to it. Right. And that's very handy for this kind of sandstone-ish buildings and now as we have those pieces we can build like a lot better because they are four by four meters yeah. and not like a window size <laughs> where you need like 20 of them to make a wall um yeah it um let's let's put it that way it came in handy oh, i'm but, so glad yeah I, it's like I, always I the same like there as well in the background so i i assumed you used those as well i'm so happy i'm so happy everyone likes it and why are you making a fence thing it looks so complicated. No, it's um, it's it's a, a bench area, but oh, also gosh. like a little flower bed. I know. We will stick in some. You just never yeah, go but... for the easy options, do you? No, no, no. <laughs> you know, as you as you edit the barriers, oh my gosh, and I believe that's that. what everybody Sorry. does, like curbs and barriers. Like you know, that was long. We talked about this beforehand mm. before you edit them, yeah, right? Yeah, this yeah. was like one of the biggest discussion points on Expo. Yeah. Where we talked <laughs> and we all knew that this will come in handy, except like slapping the planter, mm. like a million planters in. 
Um, and I think this actually brought people to use the, the pathing in general a lot more in detail. Oh, wow. And I think it's a very great addition to, to you, know, you know, make path more interesting yeah. and also get in some more interactions with like custom made uh, stuff like the, those planters and stuff. Because before you, you always avoided to place them on path right. because people would run through and we all are perfectionists yes, and yes, yes. we don't like people running through scenery. And so we just left it empty. And now you can actually put something in the middle, which is really cool for this area because otherwise I couldn't have done the marketplace. Aww. This uh, little marketplace where all the stands are on the path yeah. so people are running across. but. You just could do this with the barriers. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for the barriers. <laughs> I, I will say that uh, to the team, of course, because I'm not going to take <laughs> I'm not going to take the compliment. It's all the team, the amazing developers behind Planet Coaster that give all the good stuff away. So yeah, this is great. Wow. Yeah, it is, as I said, it's just very generally placing some random. Yeah, but you're saying it's random and it's general placing. But I mean, look how how fast and how like consider how considered it looks like. Everything is supposed to be there. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like a random mm -hmm. placement thing. You're just really, really good at dressing up areas. I really like this. I'm very pleased. <laughs> yeah, this is Bo about approves. Um, Bo approves. Yes. Okay, <laughs> now, now we can open the park and make a whole bunch of money out of it. Yes. It's Bo approved. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> I, I think. Um, the approach of this area was also to be a little bit more like actually theme parkish. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not you know it's not roller coaster level in terms of realism. <laughs> it's yeah, it's not making making shady stuff and uh, you know, but it is like um, I said this in one episode. It's, it's more like the approach that it could be like Disney ish, yeah. um, because Disney has a lot of money wow. and they used to make like these very crazy detailed areas. And this is really the approach of this area. So you have a lot of those. Things. Also, by the way, I'm just placing the Vista point every there because I love, I, I just love, love the Vista oh, point. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. So yeah, actually, to make people addition. look at stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're super happy, obviously, with the feedback that we've received from those updates, and seems like most people are excited about it, and and people have been using the pieces again, like with, inc like incredible creativity. Um, yeah, I have the feeling it's amazing. that the latest update just was like, like, in terms of what the community came up with later on, was just blowing like nothing else before. Like, Definitely. I mean, just if you look at the the workshop a few days yeah. afterwards, I mean, it was basically Wix and some <laughs> other <Yeah>. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wix is like uh, all over the place. No. Um, yeah, I don't know if he, he took off like two weeks or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Wix, if you're watching, we don't know how you did it, but well done. Yeah, um, yeah no, bo both packs obviously did very, very well. Um, but I think in terms of usability and uh, variety and, um, I don't know, maybe just more general usage of things, I think the uh, adventure pack was a bit more popular in that regard. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and you can you can see in people's creations. Obviously, the the foliage was really important for us to have it, have that in there. Um, but also, like I said, the the animatronics, the the gold and the, the metal sort of coloring options that you have. It's, mm -hmm. it's really really cool. So there's yeah, I like that. You can, you can really feel that that you guys kind of learn from the community that all pieces you put in are always like I'm quite sure that your devs are sitting there <laughs> or the, the creatives um, okay what are they going to do with this how piece? are they so going we need to, to use those pieces yeah. yes every and so time, uh, every we time. need to add the the ability to recolor it and we may have to make it not too you know theme related yeah, yeah. so and uh, this you can really see that people um at yours are really caring oh about of course this kind we, of st things. we still do we're still working on the game still supporting it um for as long as we possibly can we're still you know browsing the forums browsing the workshop browsing reddit everywhere browsing youtube for for all of your awesome creations and uh, I think at least once a week we've got something going through the the team email that says, "Oh my God, have you guys seen this? It's amazing!" So um, yeah, it's it's definitely as awesome as ever, and we're we're so proud and so lucky to have you guys as a community. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just can say this is also still amazing to see that you know we we do know which kind of. Yeah, features and pieces are yeah. in the game uh, according to our feedback. So it's always very cool to see. And also, awesome. it's you know, um, the the usability as you can see with the books, for example. Mm. I was able to make this custom bench, which Amazing. still uh, somebody co somebody commented this in I think it was the last or the episode before that his favorite. I asked the people to to say which is their favorite piece of this area, right. and they commented the bench, and I'm absolutely with them. Wow. I love the bench as well. 
Um, but yeah, okay, let's um, quickly, because the actual footage of the time lapse ended, but now we can go into the, um, uh, the, 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 the live you know, the live build of it. Yeah. And therefore, guys, I'm doing a quick cut here uh, because uh, we need to, ch uh, I need to make the screen share option for both so <laughs> she can actually see what we are looking at. Cool. So see you in a second. Hello again to the people out there because we are wow. back and now in the live build. Excuse me for the frame rate because this frame rate is very bad. Um, <laughs> I, the game is already paused, but I can't do shit about this. Um, yeah, maybe it's because of these things. <laughs> um, oh, these, probably. These are they like a thousand roofs. pieces each? Um, maybe. <laughs> let's let's put it that way. I couldn't even make a blueprint out of one onion roof. Is that enough explanation? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rudy! Yeah, so maybe. You're insane. Yeah, I don't know. Ask my CPU. In, a, in the best possible way. Yeah, my you're CPU insane. thinks differently. <laughs> <laughs> my CPU thinks in a different way. But anyways, I think it's the first time I'm ever showing this complete area in, in like the live oh. overview. And I feel there's one thing about this one. Um, I'm doing one more video on this just in detail, uh, like cinematic stuff. But I wanted to show mm. you this one time actually flying through because I feel from the yes. video a lot of details can't be seen in the time lapse because it's the, it's so narrow, you know. It's, it's If I move mm. in here, for example, see that's... Um, basically on the back of the area when you come from the let me quickly go this is the pirate area and if we right. just move through this oh, gate nice. over here you go yes. over here and you see this little look i i mean the sideline of it was really i'm not finished over here by the way i need to slap in some more walls over there but yeah um <laughs> you can definitely tell like you, you have on the left hand side you will see the coast to pass for a second if it mm. comes out you mm -hmm. see the sideline of the boardwalk over here but if you look over wow. this you have the sideline of the um towers on your left, but also the Noria is in the center of this area. So if you go through, wow. you have the interaction with the coaster in here. You have the little restaurant, which has these these carpets as shadow thingies on top of mm -hmm. them. Uh, and if we go further uh, around this corner, you have this beautiful look over here, like over the little waterfront, and you have the reflections of the whole temple, like in this. You know, and it's not too much interrupted by the coaster, so that's why I try to keep this as low as possible. Uh, and then if we go over, we have this wide open, uh, open plaza over here. So um, the only thing I just wanted to go in for is... Give me a second. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, wow. There it is! This is the entrance oh. area of the dark ride, which we have started back yeah. then, you remember? Exactly. And I do remember. If we go down in here... Oh. And there is this thing we built Yay! in the first episode. See? <gasps> wow! Yeah, that's. Oh, that's amazing. And if we go, one thing I just wanted to show Beautiful. you this real quickly. Um, if we yes. go through, that's now the queue. If you go through the queue, I added so many things I love from Theme Park. So, for example, I this. I love those curves. Yeah, it, uh, it was hard to build, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Yeah, um, this area, for example, this is the exit you can see over here. And this mm -hmm. is like the queue. I think this is one mm -hmm. thing you very often see in theme parks, that at the exit, yes. there's again, like this little um, glimpse at the queue, right? So if people are standing right. there and waiting, you see people coming off the coaster and like you see the excitement in their eyes. They enjoyed the ride. And so your excitement is raised again, like a million times. And so this is what I wanted to achieve as well, because this is the last corner, right? Just just around yeah, this corner yeah. and you're there. So that's like the last point where you get the most or the, the highest excitement. So if we go then up here, you can see the next thing. Again, we have some interaction with the, whoops, uh, with the exit. So this is the exit over yeah. here. Can see. and the queue is on the right hand side so the How queue cool is that? just goes down here and so if we go even further in you have a little bit of zigzag go away uh, with a little carpet hanging over here oh, i love that and if we go higher all the buildings? you have the little gallery right so people oh, can actually look down and see where the people oh, can go the in glass, there the gems you use the gems yeah of oh, course a glass cool. glass glass did, did i have glass it's is it? Yes, the little gems, yeah. they look like glass. <laughs> they look like glass, exactly. <laughs> um, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and if we go here, we have even a little wow. rooftop area with a little bit of gardening. Uh, and uh, then we go over here, we have a little bit of a, yeah, uh, it's kind of, oh, what's this wall doing over here? Mm, I, I should delete this one. Anyways, Speak to this, it is, angrily. this is the um, entrance then. So you see, really it's a, cool. a really big queue, like it's a really 
really gigantic you in, in terms of this park so it's really but i love that i love it when you go into a ride and this the the queue is part of you know the whole theme of the ride exactly, and, yeah. and it just brings you into this atmosphere and into the mood to be like yes i'm about to go on the most epic ride ever exactly and that's yeah. what it does like it's really, really cool, Rudy. Seriously, yeah, and if- I'm, I'm genuinely like, oh my goodness, because I remember how we started it, and yeah. it was all green, just like you had the billboards and stuff, and I was already like, my mind was already exploding. But this is just absolutely insane. Yeah, and if really, you, if you really look cool. outside the exit, you see uh, again, mm. you have now a glimpse on the coaster again, and you have this flat yeah. right on the right hand side. But wow. you also have this little shop in here where you can oh. then buy your right photos, which uh, still are not in yet. But I also need to place a vendor in here. <laughs> so um, Amazing. Yeah, a few tiny things have still to be done. But yeah, uh, this is this is it, I would say. And then we have, of course, but this is something you know already. That's the little marketplace in, in yeah. front of it. But it changed slightly according to your uh, adventure pack edition. Because uh-huh. as you can see, <laughs> the palm trees have changed yeah. and... Um, a, a lot of tiny things have been added, like golden assets and stuff. And uh, now we also have the queue for the flat really ride is cool. also finished. It's very simple. Oh, but, it's stunning. Um, no, it's, it's not simple. Yeah, it's it's just. It's but I think sometimes you know, if the if the hero of an area is like basically this ride over here. Yeah. Um, I wanted to make this <laughs> seamlessly <laughs> integrated into into this one. Really so you see, cool. if you go, the queue ends here. So you're in the middle of the entire area. Like imagine you're standing in here. Also, you have a little bit of shadow. That's also something I looked at because it would be too hot standing in the sun the whole time. So that's oh, also why, oh my why it's always like here uh, a little bit of you know roofing, but you have to have mm. a plaza over here. But yeah, this is like the um, overall area. We have the splashdown, awesome. by the way, down here, just as a little area um, down here, like a little oasis. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically it. Wow. That's the Arabian area. My hat's off area. to you, Rudy. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Great work. As I said, and thank you so here. much for for showing it to me. I love this. Yeah. Uh, did you actually really see the it. the interior? No, you didn't, right? Did you? Wait, 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 wait. I will quickly show you. By the way, this is my adventure gate. Um, I just yeah, re- yeah, yeah. Re- I, I know the adventure gate. Yeah. We put in Planet Booster the other day. Oh yeah. I uh, I, need, I needed to go. <laughs> I didn't know if you placed it down, but you did. Okay, cool. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but it is slightly redone, obviously, for the Arabian tint to yes. it. Yes. Uh, but yeah, if we Very if cool. we move in, let me just do this. Uh, wait, all the. Are we in? Now we are in. There we <gasps> go. Oh! Yeah, this is um, wow. Like one of the rooms. Oh! This is just like the Fata Morgana. Exactly. Uh, it's been oh! immensely inspired Vampiro. by it. I hope Vampiro's watching. Tell Vampiro to watch everyone. Vampiro. This is amazing. <laughs> yes. He yeah. loves the Fata Morgana as much as I do. I know, you both do, and a lot of other people commenting. <laughs> By the way, I also um, started to recall. Wait, I'm hitting play for a second so you can see. I redid oh, the shike. Wow. I, I mean, this is the pirate piece, what? but I, I just slapped some pieces on top of him and made him look like a shike. Oh my gosh. I thought, okay. I'm sending, this, I'm sending this around the office, <laughs> and as they're watching right now, team, isn't this the most amazing thing <laughs> like hats off to you again like this is so cool okay let's go wow. even into another room so this is the room of movement Whoa. i can't show you too much about this because this will be destroying the Im- immersion then later on because yes. um yes. basically what's happening if you go into this room the whole room moves um thanks oh. to all your animatronics which have been added um oh, yeah wow. then i deactivated the billboards for a second so that people not get spoiled too much because there will be something going on on the billboards when the ride is done awesome. we have this little diorama here um and if we go even further now we're going backwards but anyways um this <laughs> is like the, the the start of the whole thing which is basically oh. like um this is uh, the room of a temple where you actually go outside and um, then mm-hmm. on the right hand side you will also see something on the screen um, and the story then begins by going into the desert and, and looking for a wow. new a new area to build a new temple right and the, the whole awesome. the whole story but I told the story I think two episodes ago so I, I just don't very cool yeah but anyways so yeah that's about it okay Woo! yeah Bo thanks a bunch <laughs> to be here again and and you know summing up with me because we started it and now we ended it together yes i'm 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 super honored thank you so much for for having me on the episode and uh again like big round of applause to you for completing it it looks so beautiful i'm really proud <laughs> 
yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that you've been here and thanks for your kind words. Yeah. And yeah, um, Thank you. guys out there, I think just take the chance if you want to ask Bo anything, just do it below the video because yes. Bo will see it there or just. Um, I will. Yeah. I will read the comments and I will oh. reply. Oh, by the way, how did you like our little YOLO revival on your. <laughs> Uh, I I, can't, I think, I don't know if I was out or if I came home one day and I was just like, my Twitter was like, what? And I was like, what's going on? And then people were just tweeting YOLO at me and I was like, oh. My first reaction was like, what? And then two seconds later, I was like, I did something. I did something to set this off. I don't know. And then I was, of course, thinking back of the live stream and I was like, oh, Bo, you silly person. What have you done? And then people started saying like, Rudy sends his regards. And I was like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Camel. Oh, I yeah. got it. <laughs> that was the first yeah, working rate. Uh, it was great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, this community, I love you all so much. This is amazing. And you make me smile every single day. So even if I feel sick or if I have a bad day, I'm just so, so blessed to have everyone like you guys um, in my life. So thank you. Even if it's really silly like that, it actually means a lot. So thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. That was fun. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> as this episode was. Guys, uh, thanks for watching yes. as always. And um, yeah, now have fun with the end screen and uh, <laughs> see you in the next episode, which then uh, will be the medieval first episode. I have oh, no ooh. clue when it's going to launch, but uh, potentially cool. next Saturday already. Let's see. Maybe I get it done. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> have a good one, guys. And bye bye. Bye. Can I close this YouTube thing? <laughs>